to meet with God and His people. Pastor Todd with a devotional for August 19th. The psalmist did not get things sorted out until he went into the sanctuary of God. Then he perceived the end of the wicked, that God will bring them into certain judgment. The sanctuary refers to the tabernacle where God manifested His holy presence. Asaph didn't tell us what happened there to jar him into the right perspective, but as he will go on to spell out, he got his muddled thinking cleared up by meeting with God. John Calvin interpreted the sanctuary as referring to God's Word. Since the book of the law was laid up at the sanctuary, whether that is the meaning here or not, it's certainly true we need God's Word to get His perspective on how to deal with trials and with the difficult issues of life. We need private time in the Word and in prayer, asking the Spirit to give us understanding in these things. And we need the teaching of gifted people to help us as well. Take time to meet with God in His holy place. But God's sanctuary is also the place where His people gathered for worship. The implication is that the psalmist had been avoiding gathering with God's children at his sanctuary. Isolation feeds self-pity. Coming in the sanctuary, he saw others who believed in God and walked with God in spite of their trials. Perhaps he was able to talk with some of them about his problem and gain a fresh perspective. Don't keep to yourself if you're struggling with doubt or some other problem. Get to the sanctuary.